fellas, what a year it has been with WWE 2K24, and we are on the end. It's almost the end. One more month, one more DLC pack. After that, we're off to the races, and this year is basically over in terms of continuous content, monthly content. There's not going to be no more of that. Now, this WCW pack, we do have a lot to look forward to because I think that this pack is going to have the, just that little bit of it factor that we always needed this late in the year. We are going to have Diamond Dallas Page, Iron Sheik, Mr. Perfect, Great Muta, Lex Luger, and we're also going to get their Superstar My Faction cards, you know, in that mode as well. So this right here does come out in less than a month, November 13th, and not to mention the Bray Wyatt Surprise DLC pack. That was also pretty, pretty cool as well at this point in the year. So we got three months consecutive content with the Global Superstars pack, Bray Wyatt DLC pack, and now the WCW pack, which is about three weeks from now. And this is just a big thing, y'all. You know what I mean? I always said DLC this late in the year can cannot be the most horrible thing we obviously want to see uh you know more dlc content instead of it just being just super spread out like i just think that the pat mcafee pack wasn't really the greatest addition there if there was something else there i wouldn't have any complaints about this dlc pack i don't mind it being this stretched out but we also have to have some stuff to hold us down in between packs when you got a Post Malone pack and then a Pat McAfee pack, it just kind of turns things off a little bit. I'm not against celebrities in DLC packs, and I'm not against celebrities in the game, especially somebody like Pat McAfee. I just think that when you put those two, you know, celebrity packs back to back, and by celebrity, I mean Post Malone headlining that pack and Pat McAfee headlining his, I just think that that's when it gets thrown off a little bit. Just my opinion, though. Just my two cents. I know you guys feel very differently about it. I just want to make it clear. I don't have a problem with Pat McAfee making the game. I just think it was, you know, you know, p podcast mates and them that, you know, got in the game and it just really didn't make no sense at the time. Now, guys, this WCW pack, by any means, it's not the best pack that we have gotten this year, but I think it's up there for at least the third pack, third best. And I think that that's a very fair judgment because if i have to go on ahead and rank these dlc packs in one through five it would most definitely be global superstars dlc pack cm punk and uh the ecw pack and then we have wcw pack and then we get the post malone pack and pat mcafee ranking last that's my you know five that's my list let me know down below what your list is what is your favorite dlc pack this year i am really looking forward to this wcw pack because we always seem to get really really cool additions added to the game through these so i am excited for that will there be a very like cool groundbreaking edition at this point in the year probably not if i'm being honest i just don't think so i did see that uh war games cage was teased um you know that was wcw themed and i think that would be really cool because we have like maybe one or two arenas that can play the war games match so it would be nice to get another one added with the wcw pack i think that that could be a really cool thing especially for those old school fans that want to go back and play in a setting arena something like that that's very similar to what they've seen in the past i am looking forward to this dlc pack man mr perfect is somebody that i haven't really gotten to play with as much in wwe games and i can't remember the last time he was in a video game i know that he was i believe in legends of wrestlemania if i'm not mistaken and i got to play with him there might have been all stars or legends of wrestlemania i don't really remember mr perfect off the top of my head in a game i did skip about a year or two uh right before 19 so he could have been in any of those games so forgive me if i'm wrong but just off personal experience i haven't played with mr perfect in a very 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 long time now guys this dlc pack hopefully can introduce a patch that you know that can fix a few things here and there that we have been waiting for all year i am working on getting a developer interview with you know one of the lead developers and brian williams i do want to get that because obviously i just want to ask a few questions see if we're going to have anything for 2k24 or at this point we're just gearing up for 2k25 obviously wwe 2k25 is in development at this point we're about two three months away from getting official cover news and rumor mills starting to begin and just things like that so i am looking forward to it do i think a year is enough probably not <laughs> that's just what it is i don't think we're gonna get any substantial big changes in a year now universe mode that's the thing that worries me because we're sitting here kind of hoping you know that 
we get some things fixed for universe mode but honestly that mode continues to get worse and worse every year and they've already admitted that it's maxed out they can't even fix the calendar without you know that mode just completely crashing out it's just one of those things man that i think that we'll never get a universe mode unless it's completely scrapped from the game and then brought back while they work on it on the back end that would probably be the only way because i don't think they know how to code a universe mode the way jukes did if you guys think about it we haven't gotten a good universe mode in a long time but jukes seem to have you know the something going with it it was moving now it's kind of like it's just up in the air every year it feels like one of those modes that is just honestly forgotten and that's just the way i feel about it 2k25 i'm excited for it but at the same time i feel like i shouldn't based on you know the game that we got this year gameplay wise i really don't mind this game i think this is one of the best gameplays at least for me in a long time the issue with me is just the mode that fails to hook me i feel like i got a lot out of wwe 2k24 this year because i played consecutively for about four or five months just my universe mode and everything like that and then everything just started falling out and it was one of those things where you know you want to continue playing a game but it's just so tough and so infuriating when you have those things broken and then i have to note my own stuff you know that universe mode should already be doing for me again i'm not trying to make this a complaining video but it's just one of those things where we know with a dlc pack we always get a big patch but we know that this patch at this point in the year particularly in november we're not gonna get you know anything groundbreaking or substantial i'd be very surprised i think they've done a very good job with the patches throughout the year though adding you know different features entrances and things like that stuff that we weren't really expecting to get so i think that that's a big w and something that you know i give them props for because we're not used to getting that type of content in the game especially you know for free not a dime added to it so don't not really gonna you know don't really have any complaints about that but I definitely want to see this game continue to improve and, you know, taking a little serious in terms of the universe mode aspect. It's been years and years and years since we've been able to take universe mode, you know, serious. And that's one of my, you know, favorite modes, probably my favorite mode of all time. I just love being able to set up my show and have my own freedom. So I am hoping for the very, very best when it comes to this game. But it's one of those things, man, where we got to sit there and wait and just hope that, you know, the right thing is done the wcw pack man around the corner super excited three more weeks i know a lot of people are excited for the great muta who's one of those characters you know legends that we haven't seen in the game so i am really excited about that ddp making his return and then you know mr perfect who i'm honestly waiting for to play with the most i hope that these legends stay in the game dlc for next year honestly looks like it's going to be a hell of a year for dlc i mean if you put jacob fatu in there the mortar city machine guns who just debuted i mean obviously there's some guys that you know we should probably not you know put in dlc like jacob fatu i would hate to wait five six months to play with jacob but again knowing wwe knowing 2k they may just go that route but 2k25 dlc looks good 2k24 dlc coming to an end in about a couple weeks y'all let me know how you guys feel about it down below make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if you guys did enjoy this video i'm gonna catch y'all peace